ticker symbol PPHM. This one was brought up to us by a member by the name of Joe 1979. I think I know who that is. Joe, you there? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I uh, I only mentioned it the other day. I didn't really look into it too far like that much. Okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't really plan on doing that. I was just basically looking into the company. All right, so they had some earnings out on 1212. Uh, we're going to just basically, I I'm going to give you a brief summary of what's going on here, of what I see with the chart here. Okay, right now currently trading at 32 cents. Um, just recently on the 9th, you hit a high of 41 cents. Um, not a major swing from there to where it's at now, but it did come down. You got outside that upper Bollinger Band. You guys know how I am. All the people that watch my streams, we pay attention to these Bollinger Bands, simple day moving averages. It's what's always worked. That's how I've always done these streams. I actually add the RSI in here and a few other things, but I don't have those on right now. I will get those back up for the next stream. I've been super busy. So uh, investorshangout.com forward slash live if you want to check out our live stream. So let's jump into this chart right here. On the 9th, you see it get outside the upper Bollinger Band. And then on the 12th, completely outside. And that is where... For everybody that watches our videos, I say, okay, that's where we got to really, really, really watch what's going on here. Because when it gets outside that Bollinger Band, you know, you got members like Sheep Wolf uh, and Big Tuna uh, over on Investors Hangout that really pay attention to this also. And that's exactly what happened here. You got outside and you slammed down. Um, and, and I mean, not to sound like that, but that's exactly what happened. You get out, boom, it just brings you back down to that 10-day simple moving averages. And that's the simple day moving average of 10 days, currently at 32. The 20 days at 31, 30 day is at 31.49, okay? Right now, you're currently sitting on the 20 day, tapping the 30. Now, what does that mean? Well, I am going to leave this at what happens here at the 20 day. If that holds and you can get through this 10 day, you're gonna rebound off of that and go up. If you can't hold that 20 day simple moving average and you break through that 30 day, you might head down to the 30 cent mark of uh, a recent support line. Kind of bringing you back down to where you were uh, just about a week ago, two weeks ago. And yeah, pretty about, yeah, about a week, week and a half, two weeks ago. All right, so let's go ahead and keep an eye on this one to bounce through that 20 day and head through a 10 day simple moving average up here. So. That is for the stock ticker symbol PPHM. Uh, like I said, we haven't went through this one before. So if Joe, if you got anything else to add. Yeah, so the, the reason why I even brought this to your attention the other day, what happened was I, a lot of times, uh, at least, you know, now that I'm starting to pay attention to the stock market again, what I'll do is I'll go over onto the, uh, the NASDAQ news there. All right. Yep. If you want to show that. And basically, I, I'll click on that, and then I'll click View All, and I'll just scroll down. And all right. So that's how I found, that's how I found this. Ah. Uh, so, and then when I read it, I was like, all right. So basically, this is what caught my attention. Pellegrin Pharmaceuticals reports financial results for second quarter of fiscal year 2017 and recent developments. So obviously, I looked at that, and it said Avid posts record revenue of $23.4 million during second quarter, fiscal year 2017, with a contracted backlog of future businesses, future business currently at $73 million. So that's always a good sign right there. You know what I'm saying? So they have a, a backlog of actually $73 million in uh, potential revenue. So um, I basically just kept on looking into more and more of the company. But I mean, that was about two days ago when I seen this. All right. So I mean, but then, but then, what I else I looked into was the fact that it's a, a Nasdaq and it's traded at you know right now what thirty two cents a share. So um, the highlights right here: growing top line revenue is key focus and we're pleased to report a 53 percent improvement in contract manufacturing revenue for the current six month period compared to the same period last fiscal year in addition our revenue guidance for the second quarter was targeted to exceed 20 million and we achieved 23.4 so their targeted was at 20 million and they actually went 3.4 million over the targeted so that's always a good sign as well 
uh, manufacturing revenue as we worked closely with the third party testing revenue uh, laboratory to resolve unexpected delays in testing we accounted during the first quarter. As a result, we have reaffirm our manufacturing revenue guidance of between 50 to 55 million for the full fiscal year. So I mean, they what what I did from there is I went down and I looked into the, their uh, their financial highlights, and they're starting to cut back on their expenses like a, a decent amount as well. So I mean, this company is definitely turning around, and and I figured at that price point, yeah, can't go wrong. Yeah, so you know what? Keep that in mind. I mean, if you're watching this video, I mean, like I said, it's December 14, twenty sixteen. I mean, if you're watching this video in a three months from now and saying this stock is just keep going. You're going to be like, oh, well, you know, we did this video back in 32, 32 cents. I mean, it kind of give you an idea. So, uh, well, yeah, this is the other one that improved. Pellegrin's consolidated net loss attributed to common stockholders was 5,498,000 or 0.2 cents per share for the second quarter of fiscal year 2017, compared to a net loss attributed to common stockholders of 14 million five hundred seventy eight thousand or point seven per share for the same year uh same prior year quarter uh let's see pelgrim reported forty nine million fifty five thousand in cash and cash equivalents as of october thirty first two thousand sixteen compared to sixty one million at fiscal year ending in april thirtieth two thousand sixteen so i mean I, I would definitely go through look at it it's See what else they do. I mean, it's just that one particular thing caught my attention, and especially the fact that where it was traded. And I said, well, you can tell they're turning around. So, right. It, I was looking at it as like maybe that would be something that Fitz would be interested in. Right, and, and right now where you're at, I mean, you're bouncing off that 20 day live time while we're looking at this. So, let's keep an eye right. on that. It looks like it uh, it did tap the 30 day down there and just bounced straight off of it. So. Uh, keep an eye on it. Stock ticker symbol PPHM, investorshangout.com forward slash live.